it's Dr. C, and today we will be going over uh, sampling distribution and uh, central limit theorem. Okay, so we have a prompt today where we essentially are going over, um, it says the manufacturer knows that the items have the lengths that are skewed right with a mean of 14.6 inches and a standard deviation of 4.7 inches. Um, if 39 items are chosen at random, what is the probability that their mean length is greater than 16.8 inches? Okay, so they gave us a lot to work with here. Before we do anything, I always encourage us to um, put our relevant items out there. So relevant concepts, the fact that they say um, that the information is skewed right, that instantly lets us know that we will be using central limit theorem. Um, and the formula for central limit theorem, especially under a normal distribution, is um, Z equals sample mean minus population mean divided by um, the standard error for that mean, which is the population standard deviation divided by um, the square root of the sample size. Okay. Also, under a standard central limit theorem, um, it states that you know pretty much the higher our sample size, the more likely we are to reach a normal distribution. Um, but 68% of all values are within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% uh, of all values are within two standard deviations of the mean. And 99% of all values are within three standard deviations of the mean. So, um, again, the second thing is going to be to state our givens. So, again, they gave us a lot. They give us um, a mean of 14.6 inches. They give us a standard deviation of 4.7 inches. Um, we have 39 items and then greater than 16.8, okay? So when we state our givens, we essentially are going through that, mean of 14.6, standard deviation of 4.7. Our sample size is 39, and um, we're getting the probability of X being greater than 16.8. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually calculate the probability out. So again, we're going for X is greater than 16.8, we are going to essentially draw this out so, so we have a visual, okay? So essentially when we look at our Z table chart, it's going to give us the area to the left every time. So we are doing 16.8, it's gonna give us the area to the left, but based on what we're doing, we need the area to the right. So because under normal distribution curve is worth uh, one for the most part, we are typically going to subtract by one. So when we get the probability for that 16.8, it's gonna give us the error to the left already as stated, but we're gonna take one from it. So the probability of X being greater than 16.8 is equal to the one minus the probability of X being less than 16.8, okay? So we're gonna put the formula back here as a reminder. We're gonna fill it in, so 16.8, minus 14.6 divided by 4.7 divided by the square root of 39 gives us about 2.92. Now, based on the central limit theorem, which is what we should be using, that's close to three. So that means that we automatically know that our score is essentially going to be close to 99%. Um, we're really close to three, close to 99%, which means that really 1% is going to be a part of um, what we need. However, we're gonna keep working this out so we can double check. So if it's less than 16.8, again, it's 0 0.9982. We just said that it's gonna be around 99% based on the central limit theorem standards. So we're gonna subtract it out, one minus 0 0.9982, which gives us uh, 0 0.0018, okay? So from there, we need to make a decision so <clears throat> if 39 items are uh, chosen at random, the probability that their mean length is greater than 16.8 is approximately 0.18%, or if you want to leave it as a decimal, 0.0018, okay? Always square your answers for accuracy. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.